Hey folks, it's Andrew, and today I'm going to show you what to do when your touchscreen is not working or malfunctioning on Android. The fixes are quick and easy, so let's just jump right in. So the first thing you want to try and do is simply reboot your phone. So hold down your power button, and then just hit restart. Alternatively, you can try rebooting into safe mode. To do that, once again, hold down your power button, and then hold down the power off button. It will then prompt you if you want to reboot into safe mode, and go ahead and hit OK. Once you're in safe mode, to get out of safe mode, simply reboot your phone again normally. Now it is important to note that there are some environmental effects that can affect your touchscreen. So strong magnets, static electricity, a lot of sweat oil or grease on your hands. In some phones it can also be affected by electric current. So try unplugging your phone from the charger if it's charging and see if that fixes your problem. And lastly, extremely high or low temperatures can make the touchscreen unresponsive. Another thing that could be a problem is that your phone is out of space. When your phone is completely out of space, it starts to get a little wonky. It needs a little bit of storage space to store temporary files and things, and your phone can start to break down if it's truly at its maximum capacity. The easiest way to free up space in Android is to go to the Google Files app. And from here you can do a number of things. So for example, I have some junk files, so let me hit clean, then hit clear. And there we go, 75 more megabytes. Uh, then you can also do duplicate files, blurry photos, large files, unused apps, downloads, so on and so forth. Give yourself maybe a gigabyte of free space and see if that fixes your issue. Now it's also possible you have some kind of malicious app somewhere on your phone. If you have any apps you recently installed that you know are kind of sketchy, particularly ones you downloaded off of the Play Store, and maybe from an APK mirror site that wasn't particularly reputable, go ahead and uninstall those and see if that helps. You can also try and run an antivirus scan. In my case I'm going to use Malwarebytes. You can use whatever you prefer. Now personally, I already have an account, but uh, apparently I'm not logged in, but in any case, you can scan your device for free, at least on the trial. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now it is scanning. Now this will take a little while, but this will let you know if you have any malicious apps. The more apps you have, the longer this will take. So you'll want to let this run fully, and then let it take care of any malware it finds. This is just for demonstration purposes, and I have like 200 apps, so I'm going to stop mine here. What you can also do is go to the Play Store, hit your icon, go to Manage Apps and Device, go to Play Protect up here where it says No Harmful Apps, and you can scan from here as well. This one's a lot quicker, it says No Harmful Apps Found, but Malwarebytes and other antivirus programs will scan for apps that are corrupted or something. You can also try removing your screen protector if you have one. It's possible your screen protector is acting up and making your touchscreen act up. And you can also look up some apps that can help repair your touchscreen. So I'm going to open the Play Store. I'm going to go back to the home page here. And we're going to search for touchscreen repair. I'm going to try the top non-advertisement result here. I'm going to hit install and open. Hit OK, and hit Start. It will give you some instructions, tap the green area, make a quick single tap, don't make a long press, don't drag your finger. Hit OK, so tap, and tap again, tap once more. And again, and keep doing this, it'll take a couple different samples. Now it's going to take its third set of samples. So just keep following the prompts, keep tapping. Now it's making some calculations. Now it may pop up an ad, go ahead and hit close, that was an ad. And now it says my touchscreen response time has been reduced by 9 milliseconds. 
and then recommends you restart the device. I'm going to go ahead and hit close, and you can see if that fixes your issue. If it doesn't, there are other apps you could try, of course, if we go back to the Play Store. So perhaps try a couple of those, see if they work. Now it's also possible your touchscreen is acting out because your phone might have crashed during a firmware update. If that happened, you can try to go to your manufacturer website and find the firmware there and update it manually. So in this case, I'm going to open up a browser and see if I can find the, a firmware update for Google Pixel 3. Here at the top, you can see factory images for Nexus and Pixel devices from the Google website. Let's go ahead and hit that. Let's scroll down, hit acknowledge, scroll down again. And you can follow the instructions on this page. Now this is a bit complicated and frankly deserves its own video, but just follow the instructions from your manufacturer and you should be fine. However, an easier solution is to try and just factory reset your phone. Now to do that, you hold the power button and the volume up button. On some phones, it's the power button and volume down, so try both, whichever one works for you. However, on some phones and newer versions of Android, you access the system reset in the options screen. So let's scroll down, let's hit the settings cog, scroll down to system. You probably want to make sure you're backed up first to make sure you have all your information. Anyway, go to Reset Options back on the system settings and hit Erase All Data, Factory Reset. Now it will prompt you again just to you know check that you're sure. And go ahead and hit Erase All Data. I'm not going to do that because this is just a demonstration, but see if that fixes your issue. In a pinch, there are some alternatives. There's the EVA Facial Mouse, which is an accessibility device that you could try using if you really need to use your phone, but the touchscreen is really not working. There's voice access, various voice commands you can do. You could use Bluetooth to link an external keyboard or controller. Now, if after all that your touchscreen still doesn't work, your best option is to go and simply get your phone professionally repaired by a repair technician. Alternatively, you could sell it on eBay under the, the category for parts or repair. You can sell broken stuff on eBay, and so you can get at least some money back for it. There are also companies that will pay you for your phone, and then they will take it for electronic waste recycling. But those are all your options, so hopefully at least one of those worked for you. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment if you have any questions, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.